course, and bring us up to date as that transpires. But back to domestic politics, and when listing its achievements so far, members of the Abbott government usually include free trade agreements with Japan and Korea. Labor has supported the deals, albeit with some concerns. In particular, the Investor State Dispute Settlement, or ISDS, clause in the Korea deal. This gives a special right for companies to, or for Korean investors to sue Australian governments or councils if they can claim any given policy made harms the Korean company's investment. One Labor MP wants the deal scrapped altogether if the ISDS clause is not removed. I spoke to that member, Kelvin Thompson, a short time ago. Kelvin Thompson, thanks for your time today. This joint standing committee uh, on the uh, Korea free trade deal, it's found generally speaking that it is going to be of benefit. It's approving of it, if you like. But you and Melissa Clark have broken rank. You've uh, voiced some concerns about this trade deal. Um, I have, and, and the reason for that in particular relates to the investor state dispute resolution provision. That is a provision which effectively elevates corporations above governments because it enables corporations to take the Australian government to an international tribunal and to argue that it should be compensated if its bottom line is adversely affected by something the Australian government has done. Well, this ISDS uh, is in the deal as it stands. Korea's signed off on it. Australia's signed off on it. Do you have any hope that it's not going to go ahead? I mean, is this just rocking the boat? Because what could Australia do? Go back to Korea? Well, we've had a bit of dissent on this. Can we remove this? You can't imagine that getting a lot of momentum. Well, well, it's not our job to, to go along with that. Our, our point is that it's been Labor Party policy not to support investor state dispute settlement clauses. It was the position of the previous Labor government not to support these clauses. And Craig Emerson, who was um, hardly a starry-eyed crusader for global socialism, refused to negotiate an investor state dispute settlement clause. Uh, it's not the position of the ACTU. And it really wasn't with the weight of the evidence. The weight of the evidence to our committee was that these provisions uh, are a recipe for tears further down the track. Uh, for example, if you have uh, miners proposing mining projects and the New South Wales government, for argument's sake, uh, wants to block one of those proposals or put on uh, strict environmental controls due to public concern about health and safety, then they are at risk of being sued in the international tribunals pursuant to these clauses. So, Are there, are there examples within Korea of this ISDS that you think would would likely uh, come up? Well, well, it, it is uh, a, a potential problem. For example, there are three, uh, three mining projects in prospect where there is co Korean investment. So if the New South Wales government were to impose strict environmental conditions or were to block those provisions, then it is possible there would be challenge in one of these international tribunals. And that's exactly what's gone on in other countries. Uh, in Peru, for example, uh, the court, a court in Peru ordered a mining company to clean up a mine and then the mining company goes off pursuant to the US-Peru trade agreement and sues the Peruvian government over that action. So uh, I think that that's, that's not right. It's not in the public interests. Governments should be able to behave in a democratic fashion. OK, and this ISDS element, obviously, Obviously, has been something that has been raised before by Labor, but for the moment, it seems the spokesperson Penny Wong is saying, "Well, we're not happy with it particularly, but we do approve the deal overall." So you're stronger than that. You're going against that line and saying, "No, I don't think this is worth it overall." Are you? Well, I, I can't speak for the the shadow trade minister or, or the shadow ministry. All, all I can do is uh, speak for myself in terms of the treaties committee consideration of this issue, as we were obliged to do. Uh, the existing Labor Party policy is very clear that we don't support investor state dispute settlement clauses, don't think they should be in, in trade agreements uh, and, and that was the position of the previous Labor government. So uh, I am sticking to that pr uh, previous situation. I think that that represents the public interest Okay. And, that, and that if we s surrender this territory, uh, that, it, that it will not end well. At the moment, we've got something like, uh, internationally, 568 challenges, use of the ISDS clause, and nearly 300 of them are still outstanding because the, the nature of these tribunals and these panels uh, is such that they can roll on for years. The average time of settlement is something like three to five right. years. Well, speaking of rolling on for years, so too did this negotiation between Korea and Australia started under the Howard government dormant for the entire life of the Labor government. So 
Was this just something that had to be given? Would you essentially say, if it's ISDS and the agreement we have or nothing, you'll take nothing? Well, it, it hasn't stopped us concluding trade agreements with other countries. We were able to conclude a trade... No, there are different sticking points, aren't there, for but, different countries? Yes, but we were able to conclude a trade agreement with Malaysia on the basis of no ISDS. This government has concluded a trade agreement with Japan on the basis of uh, no ISDS. Uh, it, it wasn't dormant under the Labor government. There were negotiations which went on. But it is right that we would not agree to this treaty because of the ISDS clause. And, and I think that was the right approach to take, that, it, that these clauses elevate corporations to having power which is greater than governments as the elected representatives of the people and that they're fundamentally undemocratic. All right. Well, Kelvin Thompson, thanks for your time today. Good to talk with you.